A hand planer that doesn't cut well enough can cause annoyance poor results and a lot of effort. So do you want to turn your hand plane that cuts like this into a hand plane that cuts like this? Well in this video I will show you the 6 easy steps that I take to get a razor sharp plane blade. Now pay close attention as one of these steps is crucial to prevent the corners from digging in while making overlapping passes. In the first half of this video I will show you how to sharpen a plane blade for the first time. In the second part I will show you how to resharpen the plane blade in a quick and easy way. But before we dive into this video, let me share these two tips with you. First, soak your water stones in water until they stop bubbling. The second tip is to flatten them. You better do this every time before you start sharpening. I do this by drawing a grit on the stone with a pencil, placing my diamond stone on it, and rubbing it until the pencil marks are gone. When I get a new plane blade, I start to flatten the back. I do this by placing the back on the water stone, and rubbing it back and forth. I use my 400 grit stone and keep rubbing until the back of the blade has been sharpened in every place. Now you don't have to go finer than this because the back never comes in contact with the wood. It's just important that the back is flat so that a straight tip can be obtained. The second step is to sharpen the primary bevel. To make a primary bevel you must maintain an angle of 25 degrees. For that I use my honing guide and the spacers that I installed on my sharpening jig. I'll post a link in the description to the video I made this jig in, as well as a link to my website where you can download the free plans. In this video and blog post, you will find detailed information about the dimensions and different angles you need for sharpening chisels and plain blades. To sharpen the primary bevel, I start with the 400 grit water stone. I usually do about 30 strokes. When I see the bevel is flat, I continue with the 1000, 3000 and 8000 grit stones. A good tip that I can give you here is to turn the water stone once in a while, so you can make maximum use of it. The third step is to make a micro bevel. For that I adjust the honing guide so that the angle now changes from 25 degrees to 30 degrees. I start again with a 400 grit stone for about 30 strokes and when a small micro bevel forms I move to 1000 grit stone. When I see that the entire surface of the micro bevel is even I switch to a 3000 grit and then an 8000 grit stone. The fourth step is to make a camber. Now this is the crucial step I talked about at the beginning of this video. Very exaggerated, this means that you get the blade this shape and preventing the corners from digging in while overlapping. The way I do this with the honing guide still set to 30 degrees is by placing my fingers on the corners of the blade and applying pressure to one side. This way I do 5 strokes and then I switch the pressure to the other side and do 5 strokes again. Step 5 is to remove the burr on the back. For this I use the ruler trick. It's a trick I've seen many other people do and it simply involves placing a thin piece of metal, in my case a ruler, on the edge of the water stone. Place the plain blade on top of it, keeping the tip just inside the edge of the water stone and rubbing it back and forth. I usually do 30 strokes on the 1000 grit stone and 30 strokes on the 8000 grit stone. The last step is polishing. Just like I demonstrated in my chisel sharpening video last week, you need to place the blade on the leather strap and find the right angle. Press the blade into the leather and make a few strokes working backward. I usually do between 20 and 30 strokes. If I now do the test with the paper, you will see that the plain blade is pretty sharp. Now that's when I start using a new blade. For resharpening, it's sufficient to resharpen the micro bevel, resharpen the back and polish. Depending on the damage of the blade, I pick the right grit to start with. If there is no damage and it's only resharpening, I do 30 strokes on the 3000 grit stone and then 30 strokes on the 8000 grit stone. To get rid of the burr on the back, I use the same trick with the ruler on the 8000 grit stone. After that, all that remains is polishing on the leather strap. When I resharpen my plane blade, I can easily get this task done in 2 minutes thanks to the jig you can discover in this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.